So we started from the bottom, now we here. We started from the bottom, now my whole team here. Now they kept it real from the jump. Living in my mama house, you know, I get every month. Nah, I'm for real, man. What's up, most unteachable? MK Will, back with another reaction video. Double up, surprise, touch, got a fish, like an MK visual, man. And we finna do this, though. We got Steve Harvey, five tips of success, man. We finna get straight into the video. Hey, here's something I think is important today. Do not let other people's opinion of you determine your direction. They don't know you. They don't know what's best for you. They don't know the plans for you. They don't know your real direction. And most of these people who have opinions of you are not even really well-meaning people. The answer to your success lies purely between you and your relationship with God. You need to look closely at the person that's providing you their opinion. Do they take their own advice? Do they listen to others when others advise them? Hardly ever, man. Be careful when you are taking directions from people who are not where you're trying to go. I was listening to Joel Osteen on TV one day. He said, other people's opinion of you is none of your business, nor should you make it yours. Remember this, people's opinion are just their opinion. They don't know you. Stop listening. Subject that's pretty good. Haters. Listen, don't break for the foolishness of haters. What I'm trying to say is, don't stop for them. Do not stop for haters. Just keep going. Don't stop going forward for something that has no bearing on where you're headed. They have no power unless you allow them. You know, Martin Luther King said, a man can't ride your back unless you bend over. That's true. Stand up. Don't allow people to determine your outcome. Most haters don't even know you. And if they do know you, they wish they were you. So don't break for fools. Keep your foot on the gas pedal. Keep moving forward. There's a great life ahead of you. All you got to do is go claim it. I keep all my haters in my classroom. They watching me. All they do is watch and learn. Keep your haters in your classroom. Bang. You have got to surround yourself with like-minded people. That's very important in your life. Uh, you've heard the old saying, association brings on participation. Well, it does. Don't be complacent. You've got to have a life that's filled with a mission. You've got to surround yourself with people who are about the same mission or the same type of mission. If you want to be positive, you got to surround yourself with positive people. On the other hand, if you surround yourself with negative people, you're going to wind up participating in a lot of negative things. And it's not going to be productive for you. Start hanging around people who are goal-oriented and success-minded. They're out there. You can find them. Here's how you know that you're, that you're not in the right space. If you're the smartest person in your group, you need a new group. This will make your journey to the top a whole lot smoother. One of the things that's critical to understanding your journey is the plan and the goal. The plan and the goal are two different things. The goal is the destination. The plan is how you are approaching it. People get stuck on their plan too much. Now the goal doesn't have to change. The goal is the same. But your route to that goal, you have to be flexible. The road to success is always under construction. You can be planning to go this way, but every now and then in life, there's gonna be a detour, there's gonna be a U-turn, there's gonna be men at work. It doesn't change the goal, but the route to get there, it has to change. Reinvention has been one of my keys to success. It can be one of the keys to yours. Apply a lot of determination to reinvent yourself and take another route to success. I actually want you to start focusing on expecting great things to happen. Living your life with an expectation of great things to happen. What's going on right and correct in your life? Stop focusing on the negative. Everybody's got something going wrong. Everybody, including me. Somebody sent me a plaque one time that really stuck with me and it mattered to me. The plaque said, when you're going through hell, just keep going. I mean, it makes sense. Why would you stop there? Listen, don't allow your mistakes to bury you. Notice something else, too. You've made it through everything that you thought you wouldn't make it through, didn't you? Everything. You've gotten through it all. I want you to expect good things to happen, even when something bad happens, okay? No, for real, man. I needed that, bro. I hope y'all got that message, too, man. Y'all like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Leave me on the comments that want more videos like this, man. Okay. Uh-huh. Most of them back on the beat, you know? Gang. Ay. 
ECG go crazy. I'm still